All right, well, welcome. Again, my name is Ken Stan Henderson. I'm with Citywide Training and Development Department with the City of Columbus. Uh, excited here to, to give you a few nuggets uh, for our parents out there all over the world. Uh, we wanna equip you with some things. Uh, we know a lot is going on, um, but uh, we're here for you at Citywide Training um, within the City of Columbus. And again, we're gonna give you some nuggets. So hopefully you got your pen, you got your piece of paper, um, and again, shout us out um, in the comment section, but also if you can share this live uh, with your friends and family, neighbors, and, and let's get everybody equipped. So this session is called Parenting Essentials, even during a crisis, all right? We already teach a class on parenting, uh, parenting essentials, but this session is specifically on parenting even during a crisis. Hey, Dreama from CBS Columbus. I see you, Karen. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, welcome. So everybody got their pen and paper in hand. All right, it's, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. So um, we, we, we already understand that parenting is, is super important for us to be the great parents that we're supposed to be, and especially during a crisis. I had to grab a piece of paper, but I don't know about you, but when I got the text message or the news flash across my television that um, that the school was letting out three weeks, this was what my face looked like. Y'all see that? That's what it looked like. I said, what is going on? At the same time, you know, the kids, the, the young people, they were saying, yeah, we get three weeks out of school. But the parents were saying, what is happening? I now have to teach my young people at home. I have to be a, a, a parent at home and teach them as well. So it just up our level of, <laughs> of interaction by a ton of a lot. And, and so again, if this was you, it was, it was me uh, for the first part, but then I had to uh, had to come to grips with it, right? And so what I want to do is give you some parents, some parenting essentials to make sure that you're parenting at your best because our young people need us to parent at our best. So uh, write this in the comments section uh, parent to parent essentials, parenting at your best is your top priority. So even during a crisis, parenting at your best is a top priority. It must be. It has to be because um, if we don't parent our young people, that means something else will. And we'll talk about that a little later of what some of those things are uh, that could be parenting our young people. Uh, I'll say this right off top. Social media um, or TV could be parenting our children. And we all understand that that's not the best thing uh, all the time, all right? Unless it's educational and it's, it's focused, it's intentional. But... Parenting at your best is a top priority. Um, I want to say for as far as the parenting essential is we have to eliminate all excuses of why we cannot parent during COVID-19. All right, so eliminate all excuses, okay? You may say you don't have time. Well, if you're staying at home and you're working from home, you have time now. So you just actually got elevated more gifted more time. So make sure you are, um, you eliminate the excuses and be the best parent you can be during this time. The other one is making sure that it's essential is creating the right atmosphere for your, your young people to thrive and for you to thrive as well. So what does that look like? Um, so in my home, since I'm at home, is we have a lot of sayings around the house that it's about creating joy, peace, and you know patience and temperance you know these things are are making sure that our atmosphere is conducive to being um the best that it can be for our young people to thrive now we'll talk about different things you can do if your atmosphere is a little tense okay being at home all day with the young people it can bring some tense times okay but what can you do to make sure that they're still thriving, all right? Next one is um, just make sure we're all in, okay? As a parent, we wanna make sure our young people 
people understand and know that we are totally committed to being uh, their parent teacher during this time, okay? I know you weren't expecting that. I know it wasn't part of your job description, but it is, right? And we had to make it happen. So um, let's see. All right, so one of the biggest ones that I want you to take away is um, that's essential is when a crisis happens, we accept the challenge, all right? So it's a no-brainer, right? It's a no-brainer. So this COVID-19 has to be a no-brainer. Make it up in your mind that it's, the crisis happened, but I'm going to... To, to, to do my best. And, and matter of fact, I want to celebrate you now for stepping up to the challenge, stepping up to uh, to this crisis that you do have to parent more. Um, you do have to be more engaged, more involved ever, ever than before, right? Um, and so we'll be looking at this crisis as an opportunity. And so crisis it equals an opportunity for us as parents to, to step our level up and it's an opportunity for us to um, be a better voice of influence in our young people's lives because before we before this crisis happened I don't know about you but uh, Instagram was uh, influencing my child more than uh, some of more than what I was and I'm like whoa how you gonna listen to somebody your age and I got the experience um, I know what's going on no but that's this today's society that we live in is that the peers are influencing um, through social media and through different other ways. So, all right, let's move forward. So, I, I got a question. You can write this in the comment section. Before COVID-19 hit, what has been your biggest challenge as it relates to parenting? All right, before COVID-19 hit, what was your biggest challenge as it relates to parenting. Go ahead and I'll give you a few moments, but write that in the comment section. Before COVID-19, what has been your biggest challenge? I wanna see, I wanna see. Hey, Nikki. Know that some challenges happen, uh, but what were the challenges before COVID-19 that you had? Let's scroll down in the comments section, see what we got. See if we got anything. Thank you to our amazing uh, citywide trainer and development administrator. Thank you, thank you. The amazing Andrea Williams. All right, Let's see if we got any scrolling down. So teenage years was a yep. Yeah, so many things caused us uh, that presents challenges even before COVID nineteen. You know, some of those things could be you know time lack of time and so you know depending on if there was a one person in the household or, or two people in the household time could could be a factor in what could be presented itself as a challenge yes uh resources having not not enough resources to provide could be that uh lack of support of um of another parent or community uh societal influence now, you know, social media influence, I talked about it briefly already, that is one of the uh, hugest impacts in teenagers' lives right now. Uh, and there's some, some huge statistics that almost, let's see, almost out of eight, out of 10 people, out of 10 people, there are eight people that are using social media in teenagers. So big influence, huge influence. And remember, there's millions of people on on the uh on social media and then another uh challenge could be children just not listening to you as a parent uh yes that happens it happens to the best of us all right uh, they choose to to not listen you know you told them clean their room uh 
a hundred times and they, they just, <laughs> they don't listen. I don't know what's wrong with them, but uh, that could be a challenge presented itself as a challenge. All right, so moving forward. So again, now we're here to COVID-19. We were all in a state of shock and the children are, the children are now looking like this because uh, they can't believe they're still at home and they're supposed to be at school. Now they want to go to school instead of, you know, wanting to be at home. It's just, I don't know what this transition is, but it's happening. And so, but it's all okay. All right. So another question, since COVID-19 hit, now what has been your biggest challenge? So go ahead and answer that question. And so now that COVID-19 is here, what has been your biggest challenge? Give me a few moments. <laughs> Nikki, you said want to be teenagers, yeah? <laughs> That's good. So what has been your frustration since COVID-19, right? Because again, you had to make the transition from uh, just being a parent for, you know, uh, you know, six hours during the week, but now it's turning into full time at home. So you're parent teacher now. What has been some of those those frustrations that you, you had to face? Yeah, figuring out schoolwork, finding time to help with schoolwork. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Yeah, uh, I know one is 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 having to be present, you know, having to be present now the entire day. Uh, usually before you just had to you know wait till they get home, wait till you get home from work, and then that time till bedtime. But now if you're working from home, you're having to to, to be involved all day, and and so that that could be a frustration. You're just not used to it. You're used to it on the weekend, right? It's expected. It happens, but now it's eight to five, no, eight to 10, or whenever they go to bed. And so that, that could be a frustration. Uh, here's, a, here's, a, here's a funny frustration, but uh, hearing your name called more than five times a day. What? You, you like, what are you calling me for? Like, what's going on? And so that, that could be a frustration for you. Um, mom, 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 uh, you know, one day my son, he, he did call me more than five times. Now you know you're supposed to be doing that work that uh, the, the teacher assigned, and um, wh what is it? What what possibly could you want? <laughs> so you know that could be a frustration. Cleaning up messes more than once a day. Again, you might have expected those messes during the weekend, but now you actually have to 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 do that more than once a day. Trying to figure out what to cook for the entire week. Nikki, come on out trying to figure out what to cook for the entire week that could be a frustration um and, and to add to that uh dad mom i'm still hungry what do you mean you're still hungry you just ate i made you a three course meal for breakfast lunch and dinner how can you still be hungry that could be a frustration y'all <laughs> Um, I was I was talking to a friend of mine and he was expressing just that frustration of he has three sons and, and they're teenagers and he said man I don't know what I'm gonna do I keep going to Costco and it's just groceries being delivered all the time and so uh, he definitely has to he's he's experiencing that frustration but do me a favor let's let's go ahead and woo sa take a deep breath. Come on, there is hope, there is hope. All right, so, so parenting essentials, this is what you can do. This crisis, again, I said it before, it has created an opportunity for us to, to, to parent even better. And so one of the ways is we get more time, right? We get more time with our young people. Uh, time is a thing that we can never get back. And so as soon as we start changing our mindset into this is a opportunity, 
then we'll realize that we've been gifted with time with our young people, right? This time is the thing that we can cherish to help build and rebuild our relationships with our young people. You hear me? I say build and rebuild, right? And so whether um, you're working from home or you may have got uh, let go of your, your job and employment, but this is an opportunity to build and rebuild our relationships with our young people better than ever before. You hear me? Because again, we don't get this time back. So let's take advantage of every single moment, okay? During this time, show your child how crazy silly you are. You hear me? Show your child how crazy silly you are. And what that looks like is you turn on your favorite music, that music that gets you moving, going, grooving, and it just dance, right? Dance around them, play around them, have them get involved in the uh, the dance and, and have fun with it. See, they need to see that side of you that uh, mommy or daddy is not all business all the time. They can have fun. I guarantee you it's going to help. It's going to help. Make new memories with old games. You hear me? Make new memories with old games. Everybody remembers high go seek, okay? High go seek. Do it around the house, right? You got time. Let's make it happen, okay? So play a game of high go seek or Uno. I don't know if anybody still plays Uno, but pull out the Uno cards. Um, and the last one I got is, you know, heads up, seven up. I remember playing that in, you know, grade school and it was so much fun, but add a new addition, you know, use the heads up game that's on your, uh, on your phone where you flip it up, flip it down, create some new memories. This, this is your time to create lasting memories. Okay. Here's another one. Learn a new skill, learn a new skill. Uh, that you can uh, learn by yourself and then teach your young people or and you can have them learn a new skill they teach you and again you're you're both learning and you're growing together and what that's doing is building relationship okay that is time uh, that takes time if you need a um, if you need a I have a YouTube video and I can send this out it's called 50 amazing skills you can learn on YouTube Okay, 50 amazing skills that you can learn on YouTube. And, and that will help you out with learning a new skill. Um, something like critical thinking is, is a necessary skill uh, that both of you need um, as well um, and to grow your relationship. The other one is take several intentional breaks throughout the day. You gotta take a break. This is called mental health self-care. Take a break, five minute break and do something you love to do, whether that's reading a book, whether that's just uh, relaxing, watching your favorite uh, uh, favorite show for five minutes, five minutes, okay, um, and then get back into action. So that way, that way you can um, you can revive your body, your energy, and keep moving forward. Um, turn off social media and the news for half the day. You hear me? Turn off social media in news for half the day because what that is going to allow you to do is, is decompress to get out of the stressful we understand that COVID-19 is happening it's real but you don't need to watch it every day because if you're watching it every day you're being influenced by it in not so good of a way not a healthy way so it's okay to, to look at it once a day or every now and again but your young people don't need to see you in in you know, involved in it every single day. And, and I will say, be the expert in your home for COVID-19. And what that looks like is nobody else in the house needs to look at COVID-19 information. You can gather the information and then you can share with them, uh, but nobody else needs to watch it. And again, take a break from it. Take a break uh, because enough negative things will impact your health um, physically and mentally. So you wanna protect your health. Um, so what are some things you can do, uh, to make sure you're, you're parenting great during a crisis? What are some things you can, uh, you can do to 
to make sure that you're parenting at your best during this crisis? What's one thing? Go ahead and write down. What is one thing you can do that can help you parent even better during a crisis? All right, Nikki, I see you. Dance party tonight. Yes. Do the dance party. What is one thing you can do? All right, I gave you several, so as long as you took notes, you're good to go. And if we get some more comments, then we'll respond to those after this live. Last thing I wanna leave with you is, write this quote down. If you're parenting alone, you're doing it all wrong. You hear me? If you're parenting alone, you're doing it all wrong. I'm sure Andrew will capture that in our comment section. But I'll say it again, last time, if you're parenting alone, you're doing it all wrong. And what I mean by that is, what other parenting parents are you connected to? During this season, and I, I will say the rest of your life as a parent, connect with other parents that are on this parenting journey, right? So that way you don't have to parent alone. Right, you can get uh, advice and perspectives, different perspectives, wise perspectives um, from different uh, parents. Right, you can actually um, explain your situation that you're currently in and get some good wisdom in return. And so there's there's groups on on Facebook. Uh, I think there's groups on LinkedIn that you can search out and find. Um, I even have a group on Facebook called Parenting Like a Boss. Um, it's not the uncensored version. I do just regular Parenting Like a Boss. And, and that group is all about connecting parents with resources, giving fresh advice and tips to make sure you're parenting at your best. We're not always on top of our parenting game, but we can quickly get back on it, okay? And um, go from there. Are there any questions? If you put a question, if you have a question, put it in the comment section because I want to respond to it. Again, Andrea, thank you for being so amazing. And uh, any questions? Any questions? Hopefully, this has been um, a good resource for you um, as we continue to parent at our best. So keep doing what you're doing. Uh, if you if you feel like yelling and screaming at your young people, take a break, take a quick time out. Uh, say I'll be back in five minutes. Don't leave the house or go take a walk, but uh, come right back um, and make sure that you're you're parenting at your best. Uh,